for any of the partition it may be it may be trend tested partition or it may be a k fold cv partition we apply stratification while we partition we are going to see in this video why the stratification is done during the trend test period we see over here one data set which is an example of classification model we see over here that the class variable is the variable which is a response variable in this case and we want to stratify on this now why to stratify we are going to see it so first let us load this data hence we see here that the data set has been loaded in our environment here are the list of column names and among those column names we are basically interested in the column which is a response variable column hence as far as our classification modeling is concerned this class column is a y column and the columns from this column the column number 2 to the second last column are features so accordingly let us create x for these features and y for this one if you feel necessary you can do the get dummies or hot encoding also of this data but i am not going to do hot encoding i am straight going to partition without hot encoding so hence as you see that we have the x object created which contains only the features and also we have the y object which contains only the response column let us see the composition of this y so if we want to find out how many malignant values are there how many benign entries are there in this particular y column we can have it using value underscore counts so let's see that so with value underscore counts it is visible one thing that one thing is visible that benign entries or observations with benign are 458 in number and malignant are 241 in number percentage wise if we try to find what is the prevalence what is percentage of benign values and what is percentage of malignant values we can see that with the normalize argument let us see that so over here percentage wise what we see is we have benign 65% and malignant 34% now let us apply the trend test split function without stratification so hence i am applying this without stratification and after i have applied this without stratification we also need to see the prevalence of y well y train and y test we are going to see now so we are going to see the prevalence or the percentages of y train and y test accordingly we know one thing for sure that for y which is our original data our percentage of benign is 65.52% and malignant is 34.47% now after the trend test split without stratification as we can see that the y train in y train the percentage of benign record seems to be 67 malignant 32 so we see one thing over here that the trend test partitions don't represent the data correctly how let me explain so what we see over here in for y train we see the percentage of benign as 67% basically it was expected as something same as 65% but in train set it is it is 67% in the test set it is 61.9% as you see here 
61.9% and malignant also doesn't represent the data partition, the data set. Now, the principle of statistics about sampling is that the data should have a correct representative means sample should correctly represent the data. Now, training set and testing set are basically two samples of the data. Because on training set, what we are going to do is we are going to build several different models and on testing set, we are going to test those models or assess those models. Now, train set and test set should actually represent the parent data set, but it is not happening over here because the original data is having benign percentage as 65.52%, malignant as 34.47% as you see over here. As against that, the training and the testing are not following those particular percentages. And hence, in order that we want the training and testing to represent the data, represent the parent data set, we require stratification. Hence, let us apply the stratification to this particular partition, data partition. So, we require to write stratify equal to y and now let us run and again check the percentages. You will find now the percentages in this way. Let us again observe them closely. Hence, now you see, we see the effect of stratification. In the test set or also in the trend set, we see the percentages of benign and malignant, though not exactly matching with the parent data set, somewhat they are matching with the parent data set. So, hence, stratification is required. Well, if you are curious to know what exactly happens with this stratification counts, let us see the outputs with plainly the value counts. Now, as far as value counts are concerned, our parent data set contains benign values as benign records as 458 and malignant records as 241. So, if we are going to consider some 70% <coughs> of the training data and 30% of the testing data, in that case, if training data happens to be 70%. So, out of 699, which are basically the observations from the data set, out of 699, we will be having 489 records approximately in the trend set and approximately remaining all records in the nearly about 210 records in the test set. Now, here you as already know that the percentages of benign and malignant records are 65% and 34.47% respectively. So we wish one thing that out of 489 records which will be there in the training set, out of 489, you see the benign should be, the number of benign records should be 489 multiplied by 65.522 divided by 100 approximately and similarly we wish that the malignant records will be accordingly so malignant records will be something like 489 multiplied by 34.477 because that is the prevalence of the malignant record in the original data set we want that same representation over here carried down into the training data. Let us see the approximate values with these two figures. So as we see from the console calculations that approximately 65.522 from the 489 comes out to be approximately 320 and second one comes out to be 168, 320 and 168. So approximately 
what we wish to have over here is uh, 320 approximately and the next one is something like 168 169 it will be in order to have the sum of this so ultimately what is going to happen as a part of stratification is that out of the records of 458 from the original data some 320 benign will be randomly sampled in the in the test data set out of 241 malignant observations some 169 will be sampled out among them and hence this particular thing will be stratified similar such calculations will happen for the testing set so if similar such calculations happen in case of 210 the benign percentage may be something like 65.52 which the figure represents as 139 or sorry 137.59 maybe 138 and second figure of malignant may be 72 let us see whether these figures have really come out yes they have so hence we see the stratification has taken place with the figure so hence we see that the stratification has been met. Now, a word of caution related to stratify equal to y option. As far as possible, the y has to contain some discrete values, particular values. If y contains many distinct values, that is if y is a continuous variable, then the stratify option won't work. So, ensure that Whatever you are doing with stratification, y is a, is a categorical one. Hence, we always do the stratification with the classification problems in scikit-learn. Similarly, if we want to do k-fold cross-validation with classification problem, then there is a function supporting k-fold cross-validation as stratified k-fold, which will do this for all five folds and the percentages accordingly will be maintained for all the five folds. In case of regression problems, we cannot have stratified k-fold, we simply use k-fold. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and for updates from me, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.